Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you the latest and easiest method to root your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This should work on any variant. You're just going to need to make sure you uh, select the proper option based on your variant. I have a Sprint uh, Note 2 right here, but again, it does not matter what uh, version you do have. First of all, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go into Settings, and then under Settings, scroll all the way down and select Developer Options and then go ahead and turn those on. So go ahead and make sure you turn them on, hit OK. Now go ahead and check USB debugging and hit OK. So just make sure USB debugging is checked. You can go ahead and back out of that. And now we're ready to go. So what we're gonna first need to do is click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description is going to take you to this site right here. Big shout out and thanks to MS Kip for putting this Note 2 root toolkit together for us. What we can do is go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and we're going to need to download this file right here. It says click here to download the toolkit. Click on it and download it. Let it download to your uh, PC. It might take a little bit of time, so be patient with it. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and navigate to wherever you download it in your downloads folder, and you'll see Galaxy Note 2 toolkit here. Go ahead and double click on it now. It's an EXE file. It should ask for user account control. Go ahead and hit yes, allow it user account control, and then you will see Samsung Galaxy Note 2 toolkit right here. So we can go ahead and just run through it. It basically lets you know what exactly it does, what support is, off is offered. Go ahead and hit next, and then hit next again. And make sure main files and drivers are both checked. I do recommend making sure both of them are checked. Hit next again. And then what it's gonna do is go ahead and make a folder on the C drive of your computer. You will see a C Samsung Galaxy Note 2 toolkit. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna extract all of those files into that folder on your C drive. So I believe once this is done extracting, it will go ahead and put it on your C drive. I do wanna make a note that this will not wipe any data. It shouldn't wipe any data on your device. Make sure you do it at your own risk. I haven't heard of anyone having any issues whatsoever with it. Uh, but if you do run into problems, you can feel free to ask, just leave a comment. I will help you out as best I can. So here we go, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Toolkit. It says it is done. You can have execute the program now. Just leave that checked and hit close and it should open up the program and it is starting ADB. So here's the program itself. Let that focus, sorry about that. And it says, do you wanna check if there's an update available? I'm gonna hit no because uh, I already know that I have the latest toolkit installed. You can hit yes if you do it at a later date to see if there's an update. But now let's go ahead and check out this toolkit. I do also, before we get into it, uh, on your C drive here, you'll see computer OS C, uh, you'll see Galaxy, not in Galaxy Nexus, Samsung Galaxy Note 2 toolkit, that file folder is right there. If you, for some reason, exit out of it, just double click on that folder, and then you can go ahead and double click on the toolkit application. So just kind of keep that in mind if you accidentally exit out of this command prompt. All right, so here's a very important step. Uh, make sure you pay attention here because you wanna make sure you select the correct phone model. Uh, make sure you know what phone model you have. If you don't know, go ahead and go to settings, about device, and then you can find out what model you do have. You'll see you have international, you have Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, things will get added as uh, they are released on more carriers. But I have the Sprint model, so I'm gonna select option four. Um, so I can go ahead and just type in the number four right there and hit enter. So once you have this long list show, uh, showing, you can go ahead and you'll see number one is installed Note 2 drivers on your PC. You need to make sure you do this first. So go ahead and make choice option one and you wanna install the drivers. So uh, you'll see options back to main menu or install drivers, go ahead and hit option one and hit enter. Make sure your phone is not plugged in. Make sure it is unplugged. It's gonna install the drivers for you. Press any key to continue. And then what it'll do is automatically install those drivers onto your PC. Be patient with this. It will take a little bit of time. So this window popped up for me. It says Samsung USB drivers is already installed on my computer. Do you want to proceed with the installation anyway? I'm going to hit no since I've already installed them. But uh, if this comes up or any otherwise, just run through the install wizard if you don't have it installed. Uh, but if this comes up, you should be able to hit no. If you do run into issues, you might have to hit yes and just reinstall these drivers. So that's a troubleshooting step if you run into issues. But otherwise, make sure you install those drivers. So now what we can do is go ahead and once the drivers are installed, plug our Note 2 into our PC. So grab our phone, plug it on in. Um, Windows might try and install drivers, let those install. Don't cancel them or anything like that. Uh, but now what you should uh, you should see, it says press any key to return to the main menu. I'm just going to press any key. It'll bring me back to this main menu. And now we can go ahead and root our device. So, 
Now what we're gonna wanna do is select option two. It says routing options. So go ahead and type the number two in and hit enter. And it comes up with a list of options that we do have. So uh, if you are not looking to flash ROMs, I highly recommend option two. And if you're looking to flash ROMs, I highly recommend option three. So I'm gonna select option three because I wanna flash ROMs, but if you're not looking to flash ROMs, and you want to uh, have the ability to get over the air updates through your device, which it should, as long as you have stock recovery, then I select, uh, then select option two. But now just go ahead and select option three, all in one, and I'm going to because it's gonna install a custom recovery. And now you have an option to choose your recovery. If you selected option two previously, you will not get this option, but I'm gonna recommend installing Torp recovery. Uh, you can choose Clockwork Mod if you want, uh, whatever you're more comfortable with. Both of them do the same things pretty much. So I'm gonna select Torp recovery, and I'm option two, super user method, you have option super user or super su uh, either one should work i'm going to recommend super su option two that's just something that i'm recommending to people again you can choose whichever one you have a preference of and now what it's going to do is just go ahead and run through sorry it's not focusing here but uh it uh, will go ahead and add the boot image add the recovery image and it says usb debugging must be enabled which we have already done so are you ready to continue go ahead and hit yes um, and now make sure while this is occurring, you do not unplug your device. So it's gonna reboot our phone into download mode. Um, you will see it says downloading here. And now uh, it's gonna go ahead and do everything for you, I do believe. Actually, no, I don't think it does. I think it's gonna open Odin for you, which is no big deal because I am super familiar with Odin. All right, so once you have Odin, you're gonna to wanna to follow the uh, number of directions that show up in the toolkit here because the file you select kinda of depends on the model that you have. But now you need to make sure auto reboot's checked, F reset time is checked. This might not come up if you selected option two at the beginning with just root. I believe this is installing the custom recovery, so you might not have to even deal with Odin if you're just rooting. You might, I'm not sure, I haven't tried option two. But uh, otherwise, what we can do is press the PDA button right there on the right side. Now go to that C drive on your computer that I pointed out earlier, and then find that Samsung Galaxy Note 2 Toolkit folder, double click on that. And once you go to that folder, now go ahead and find the folder that says root, double click on that. And now here you need to make sure you select the correct option for your phone. In my case, I want the SVHL900, which is the Sprint variant. Uh, it will list the file name in the root toolkit there, the one that you need to select. So make sure, again, you select the proper one. So just select whichever file that it uh, lets you know to. Mine says boot insecure, ALJ1 recovery, SPHL900. That's the one that I need to select. So again, make sure you follow whatever file name that it tells you to select. So I'm gonna double click on it and you'll see it shows up in the PDA box there. Uh, the PDA box is now checked and now we're ready to go. You can just go ahead and hit start bring up my phone again and uh, it'll go ahead and boot and it should automatically reboot our phone. You'll see a progress bar on the Note 2 as well. Um, boots up, automatically reboots, says reset. If you have any issues with Odin at all, I highly recommend trying a different cable. Um, try using different USB ports and try reinstalling drivers as well. Those are the troubleshooting steps that I recommend for Odin. So now it should reboot back up. And now what we can do is go back to our toolkit all right, so our phone is rebooted. Now I recommend what you have to do is exit out of Odin. So just uh, exit out of Odin, and now the toolkit uh, should, it says waiting for device to be connected, and now it says ADB is running. It says setting up root on your phone. So now it is, I believe, attempting to root. And I, I think, again, I'm not positive. You might not have to do that Odin step if you're not installing a custom recovery. Don't hold me to it as I haven't ran through step two. Uh, for someone that does do step two, you can make a comment on if you need to follow the Odin instructions or not. Uh, if you do select option two, but this is for option three, installing a custom recovery. Because again, I do plan to flash uh, ROMs. I will be doing videos on how to do that. So be sure to subscribe for those. But it uh, looks like uh, it says, congratulations, you hacked it. Rebooting phone to apply. So my phone should reboot now. And there we go. So now our phone should be rebooted and it should be done actually. So I'm gonna let it boot up and I will be right back. All right, so my phone is automatically re rebooted. I can go ahead and go into my app drawer and you should see Super SU there now, whether you selected option two or option three, or it could be Super User depending on which uh, option you did select. So you should see Super SU or Super User. Um, you can go ahead and go into an application that needs root access such as Titanium Backup. 
and then it should ask for super user permission, super user request, grant them, and there you go, you're now rooted. So this lets you know that you are now fully rooted, um, and that's it. So again, now let's I can actually show you how to get into our custom recovery that we did install, if you installed it, but if you selected option two as before, you are now rooted, you are done, that's it. Um, I don't believe there's an option to get free Wi-Fi tethering at the moment, because it has not, the application has not been updated for Jelly Bean. So I will be doing a video on how to get free tethering once uh, that option becomes available. So be sure to subscribe to me so you can get notified of when I make that video that hopefully will be coming very soon. But uh, I'll get that up as soon as possible, as soon as it becomes available. So be sure to subscribe. But otherwise now, if you have a custom recovery installed, we can go ahead and boot into that custom recovery. So what you can do is just power off your device, go ahead and hit OK, uh, let it shut down. And while you're waiting for it to fully power off, I did want to make a quick note. I do plan to install my favorite accessory, the fly grip on my Note 2, extremely soon. I'll do a video once I do install it, showing it off, just like I have one of my Galaxy S3 there. So definitely be sure to check out my review video of the fly grip on the Note 2, because it's definitely a pretty much essential accessory that you do need. I'll link to that in the description of the video. And once the phone is fully powered off, we need uh, to go ahead and press a few buttons. Press and hold volume up the home button and the power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up and let go once that Samsung screen lights up. And then it should take us into that custom recovery. I recommended Team Win twerp recovery. You could have Clockwork Mod load up if you selected that option. So there it is. If you did install a custom recovery, I highly recommend making an Android backup. Go ahead and go to the backup option and then make one. You can set a backup name uh, and you can just call it something like first. And there you go, you can go ahead and call it first, and then swipe to backup. That is what I highly recommend doing, making an Android backup. Just in case anything goes wrong, you can restore that backup. But here it is, so that's how you boot into that custom recovery. I'm just going to hit reboot system, boot my phone back up, and you are now fully rooted with a custom recovery. I'll be doing many videos on how to flash ROMs, etc. So be sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.